Welcome to From Upside Down to Right Side Up, providing tips for the transition. I'm Maria Tomas Keegan, your host, and this is my continuing series of interviews with strong, resilient women who have inspiring stories of their own transformation to tell, and they are courageous enough to share it here with us. Today, my guest is Heather Rausch who has a powerful perspective on getting through major life events. We call this episode Persevering and Playing Full Out. Welcome, Heather. I'm so excited for you to share your story and your view about life with us. And it inspires me to know, uh, to know you and to know it will do the same for others. So, Welcome, and thanks so much for being here. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks for having me, Maria. I'm excited to share, and um, I just love, I love sharing. I love um, when people get to hear about others' stories, because I think that we can relate so much, more than we ever knew we could most times to somebody. Um, what we see on the outside is never what's happening on the inside for people. <laughs> so I love when we get a glimpse into the lives of others and, and can see their story. So thank you for allowing me to share. Oh, it's my pleasure. And, and I, you're, you're so right. We, did, we never know what's going on on the inside unless someone tells us. So that's, right. and that's, where, that's where the magic starts to happen, I think. You've been through several major life events, and I know from experience how positive a person you are. <laughs> and not everyone sees things in such a positive light. So would you share your story with us? Tell us how that is for you. Sure, sure. Um, yes, I definitely, you know, that's one thing. My perspective, um, I think, is what is, you know, maybe a little bit different than, than some, but something I've tried to really focus on. But my story is, you know, it, it's funny when I think about my story, because to me, it's just, it's just me, right? So, um, but to others, it's, you know, this big story. So <laughs> it feels, it feels um, fun to share it. But, you know, when I, when I was thinking about um, talking with you about all this, you know, I, I thought, when I think about all the different things that I've gone through in my life and, you know, things that have been upside down and then turning them right side up and everything, you would think that some of the biggest things in my life or the biggest challenges, I guess you'd say that I've overcome um, would be some of the things like, you know, be, being a single mom when my son was three, I got divorced and was a single mom for about 10 years. Um, and then I also ended up having brain surgery during that time, which was kind of unexpected and seemed like at the time totally out of the blue. And so, you know, there's just been things I've started a business in that time. I've gone back and forth between working in corporate versus having my own businesses. Um, so there's just been a lot of change and a lot of, a lot of opportunities in there um, to overcome different obstacles. But to be quite honest, as you know, I was telling you before, the biggest thing for me is with all these things that happened with the divorce and with the brain surgery and that, those are things that I can honestly say I didn't quite see coming. And those are things I just kind of overcame. So as they happened, I addressed them and I, I persevered. But some of the biggest challenges for me or the things I look back and that really stick with me are the things that I was really planning for. You know, the opportunities for me to start my business, for example. When I started my business, that was one of the most challenging things I think I over, you know, had to overcome or I had to um, just figure out along the way. Starting my own business, I think, was harder than brain surgery. <laughs> so it's you know, kind of interesting how, you know, how that works. Because when, for me anyway, when I'm presented with 
something unexpected and a challenge, you know, um, a medical thing like that that came up, I mean, I just had to overcome. I didn't really, I had a choice to, to live or die, essentially, right? I only had two options. Um, and so I, I chose to, of course, live because I'm here now. <laughs> Um, and I'm, I'm happy about that, of course. Um, but you know, it was just, it was just doing what you have to do in that moment. And it wasn't, um, something that had so many different options, like some of the things that we, you know, try to, um, create on our own, um, if that makes sense. So some of the, the biggest things, um, for me in my story, um, and, and, challenges, I guess, I've overcome are really those things that I've been anticipating and planning for, um, like starting my business. Um, and I think a lot of people out there can probably relate. I'm assuming there's probably quite a few people watching that are entrepreneurs um, and understand, you know, what it's like to get your business going and maybe being the only person in your business, essentially, um, and what it feels like to get that, to get that rolling and get it started and then um, seeing it grow which is really, really exciting. Um, but for me, it was a little bit scary. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's my story. Um, like I said, is one of, I've overcome obstacles along the way with a really great attitude um, because I feel like, you know, I had to and mm -hmm. I wanted to. Mm -hmm. You know, that that's, that's so interesting what you just said um, with a really good attitude. It is so important, I think, when we, when we struggle with the big moments in our lives, right? Like you had, you know, an unexpected divorce and unexpected brain surgery. And you chose to confront those challenges with a great attitude. And it made a big difference in how you were able to come to get through them and get beyond them, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, you always hear people say attitude is everything, right? And, and I really believe that, though. Um, and not that I'm just, um, you know, I don't want to say that you just put on a smile and, and go through it anyway. You still have to address what's happening for you. You know, I think that's so important is to really get to the root of what's causing, you know, your... Um, whatever feelings you're having in that moment, but also to have that perspective on it that you know things are going to get better and and to really have that trust and that faith that you'll get through whatever is happening. So for me, that's kind of where that you know positive attitude comes from is by addressing what's happening for me underneath and then moving through it. So it's not just kind of covering it up, which I think is really important because I used to have, um, I used to have a friend that used to tell me, oh, just, you know, put a smile on your face, fake it till you make it, nobody will ever know, um, which, you know, there are times I've, I have done that, you know, I've had to do that, right, where I just didn't feel like doing something, put a smile on my face and, and did it, but at the same time, I did follow up and address what was happening for me so that I could grow from it. Right, and, and, and that's what's so important, um, that, that we don't just stuff it down and, and pretend it doesn't, it hasn't, affected us it's happening for sure but it, to pretend it doesn't affect us i think is the is where the it's the it's the pitfall that yes. that many of us can fall into i feel so encouraged by listening to your perspective heather it's a refreshing view on facing life events head on and being clear about what what you can control and what you can't. Right. So you may be able to control the situation as you, as you not, may not be able to control the situation, uh, like with your divorce or with your brain surgery, but you can control how you respond to it. So I think that's the, that's the golden thread that, you're going to weave throughout, I think, our conversation here. And I am just very excited to get on to our next segment in just, in just a bit. Uh, take a deeper dive into those emotions that you were feeling, those things that you said you needed to address. 
uh, and the ones that held you back the most. So um, I think I think people are going to be surprised. So <laughs> stay tuned. I'm Maria Tomas Keegan. Till next time. Thank you.